Smile and learn. Hey, Smiley, here's a riddle. I can be a big number or a small number, but I always have a point in the middle. Who am I? Oh, I know this one. You're a decimal. Oh, I love those funny numbers. Well, you're in luck because today we're going to learn about decimals. Let's get started. Decimals Decimals are not whole numbers because they don't represent complete or exact quantities like 1, 8, or 300. Decimals express quantities smaller than one unit or values that are between two whole numbers. Decimals are made up of two parts, the whole part to the left of the decimal point and the decimal part to the right of the decimal point. Reading Decimals Reading decimals is very easy when you know the name of each decimal place. The first decimal place is the tenths. The second is the hundredths. The third is the thousandths. And then there are more. Ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. What complex names! Can you read this number? Very good! Nine and five hundred forty-two thousandths. You can also read it as 9.542. Both forms are valid. Relationship between decimals and fractions. We can represent a decimal as a fraction and vice versa. Let me show you. This part here represents one-tenth of the total. This is because the whole is divided into ten equal parts. Now we have two-tenths. Let's look at another example. Each part is one-hundredth, or one-hundredth of a fraction, since we divided the whole into one-hundred equal parts. And what if we highlight 25 parts? Correct! That would be 25 hundredths. This part is 1,000th because the whole number is divided into 1,000 equal parts. So every decimal is also a fraction. Incredible, but true. Representation of decimals on a number line. Now that you know the relationship between fractions and decimals, let's see how we place them on a number line. Where would you put this number? Eight and four hundred twenty-three thousandths. Correct. First, we find the whole number. Then, we find the decimals, starting with the tenths, then the hundredths, and finally the thousandths. Here's the eight. Good job! We divide the 10 by the tenths, like this. We divide the tenths to find the next decimal place, 
found it. And finally, we divide one more time for the thousands. Here it is. And that's it. We've placed the decimal number in the exact right place. Simple, right? What a decimal journey we've been on today. Now we know what decimal numbers are, how to read them, that they go great with fractions, and even how to place them on the number line. The next time you see a number with a decimal point, you'll know that's not a period. It's a very important part of the number. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.